I feel the current state of affair um, of retail in Australia um, is quite on a knife edge at this moment in time. Uh, I think there's a lot of big retailers out there that are vying for position um, and losing sales to other retailers. So in the future, um, the bigger retailers are probably going to buy out the smaller retailers. So I think that at this moment in time, the differentiation between the big retailers is going to be really key. Um, the offer to customer is going to be really key as well. So um, that bespoke service um, and the thought of customer number one um, is going to be the biggest focus for every retailer in Australia. The next emerging trend um, in uh, retail marketing, um, I feel as though it's a mixture of omni-channel, so across the line, uh, above the line, below the line, so social media through to retail bricks and mortar through to online is really, really key. Um, a bespoke service, so every time a customer buys product, um, shops with that uh, retailer, that the retailer is gaining information from that customer and then providing them with that information back. So whether it's discounting on certain items that they currently buy, um, I think a bespoke customer focus um, survey or customer focused um, direction from a trend point of view is really key. The evolution of Target over the next 12 months um, is an exciting time. Um, We've been on a big journey over the last few years. Uh, we've disappointed our customer, and it's now time to get our customer back into our stores um, and online. So the plans for the next 12 months to the next two years are big, uh, whether it includes license, whether it includes denim. Um, the fashionability of our product needs to improve, which is a big focus of ours. Our quality will improve, which is a major focus of ours. Safety of our customer. But mainly, at the end of the day, uh, we need to sit on a par or, or past our competition. So the likes of H&M and Zara, uh, we will be competing with those guys on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, we will have um, just as fashionable product in our store. We're all looking at the same trends on a day-to-day basis and it's putting them into a melting pot uh, and making them target um, focused for our customer. Bricks and mortar uh, over the next two to three years um, is going to be a, a surprising time, I would think. Um, the bricks and mortar um, retailers that are out there, a lot of them have moved online and they're seeing a major um, increase in sales because at the end of the day, the customer is very time savvy. So when customers are time savvy, they want to pop into a store or they want to use their time for family or friends or um, socialising. So, uh, bricks and mortar need to reinvent themselves. Um, they need to um, think about customer first and they need to think about the actual time that that customer is in store. So availability is number one. Uh, surprising the customer, an experience, an amazing experience to the customer is really, really key and a one-stop shop. So the customer can walk in with a basket, um, buy all their items, whether it's apparel, whether it's homeware, whether it's stationery, all in one go and be able to get in and out um, and buy everything in one go and get home before you know it, then that's the key thing to a bricks and mortar retailer. Um, also from a point of view of um, bricks and mortar retailers need to think outside of the box. So if you go to Tokyo, if you go to New York or Los Angeles, they offer a take home service. So you can try on the garments, you can um, get them fitted, you can um, see how they feel and look but at the end of the day, you don't have to carry that bag out of the store. So whether it's a delivery to your home, or whether it's a service that delivers it to your hotel or home after you've shopped, it means that the customer can continue shopping and continue going out within the mall or within the stores without having to hold a lot of bags. So I think that bespoke service, um, I think the even with a, a mass retailer like Target, um, they need to think outside the box and uh, start thinking about those kind of key pieces. Key focus for today's shopper, um, like I've said before, is being time savvy. Uh, a lot of our shoppers need to, need and want to spend time with family and friends and, and do other things other than shopping. Shopping takes up a lot of time in people's diaries and people don't want to be spending all weekend in a mall or in a store. So time savvy is really, really key. So that's a major focus for um, our customers over the next two to three years. Hence the fact that online is growing Hence the fact that one-stop shops are growing, hence the fact that um, people will um, 
buy from a multitude of retailers. But if, once they get availability and once their, um, their time is taken from shopping, they can move on and go back to their homes or go back to their family and experience the weekend as they should do.